What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at Highland playing the front nine for a Highland putter review and this time we have the Innova Rhino in Champion Plastic. It is so flat on top. Let's see how it handles. I used to throw a Rhino all the time and we're really going to get to test it in the wind today. number one 216 feet let's forehand it to the bottom of the hill the numbers of 2103 it's really not much of the putting putters and not in this plastic but I'm gonna put with it today it's definitely much more of an approach putter so take that with a grain of salt Pull two, 230 feet. I'm gonna take the less used route over here so I can still throw the forehand. We are gonna to get to see some backhands with it, but this hole, it's hard to push it far enough straight. So I'm gonna try the forehand. That's unfortunate. It was looking so good and then it just, it is actually an overstable, like it's, surprisingly overstable and I'm pleasantly surprised by the Rhino in the Champion plastic bling being so flat it flies so amazing. I also used to use the Rhino a lot for tomahawk. I think this should work. That might have cut rolled. I think it probably did cut roll but also I thought the basket was right there. So it's actually kind of good. All right, let's go take better than par. Pull 390 feet, basket's back in the short. So making this an ace run chance, but I'm gonna go the backhand right side gap. It actually was going too far. <laughs> the rhino's kind of dirty. Good approach. It's really good at approaching. Hole number four, still even par. This could be the hole that changes things. 218, it's a backhand hyzer yet again. This time it's a little more open though. Oh, that's some overstability for sure. Yeah, the uh, the one glide is real when you're trying to putt with it. It flies amazing. You just don't get quite as much spin on a putt. So it doesn't stay in the air quite as long as, you know, a glidier disc, like a P2. Hole number five, 230 feet. I'm gonna test the backhand turnover ability of this disc. I think it'll probably flex out but I'm gonna see if I can keep it on enough anhyzer that it just pans to the basket. Oh, that was about as perfect as I could have done it. I have to just actually clutch up and make a putt. There we go. Now with a disc like this, I'm not going my straight right through the dead center gap. Should I go forehand turnover or forehand hyzer? That's the question. I think we go turnover. That was a little low and driven, but it was fighting back. That, that disc has some intense stability to it at the very end of its flight, but because it's two speed, you can kind of do some funky stuff with angles at the beginning of its flight and it's gonna hold it. But then as soon as it starts to slow down just a little bit, 
Ooh, stability. That's two. Well, number seven, we do have a tail crosswind. So if it picks back up, the wind's gonna help carry us to the basket. It's 264 feet. This disc may not necessarily be the best disc for the shot. We're gonna make it work. And I think it's actually gonna be really good at this shot because you just wanna push it straight and then have it fade and skip up the hill. Kind of what this disc does. all the luckiest tree kicks. Oh my goodness. So as it turns out, throwing a disc on Heiser is not throwing a disc on Anheuser and it's gonna do two drastically different things. That the intended shot was gonna be a soft flex releasing the disc on Anheuser. And guess what? It came out on at least five or 10 degrees of Heiser and it's a rhino. So when it comes out on Heiser, it just wants to fade. If you flex it, it wants to stay in the air a good bit longer, but I think we got lucky with a tree kick and now we're like 45 feet. Probably still not gonna make the putt, but there's always a chance. Oh, any other putter, any other straight putter I think would have gone in there, but that's not a straight putter. It's an overstable putter. Well, number 899 feet. It's right there. You gotta throw a straight and then fade into the chains. I'm gonna make sure that this comes out on Anheuser. I mean, that's just Rhino doing Rhino things. That came out on way, actually way too much Anheuser, but it did flex. And when it started to slow down, it faded pretty consistently. Oh, oh, how does that hit the band? I thought it didn't go anywhere. So when it comes down to throwing putters, approach putters, even putting putters, one of Innova's most slept on approach putters is the Rhino. Everyone overshadows it because the pig is this, the pig is that, the pig is the Rhino is something that I've never gotten from a pig. Now, to be fair, I think I've thrown a pig twice, but there is something about the thumb track and the bead. The bead, I think, is what helps give it a little bit extra stability. And in this board flat champion plastic, this disc is overstable, as overstable as a zone, but a little bit slower and a little bit less glidey. So, it's a lot easier to control your distance. And I used to throw the Rhino so much and it's something I've been really missing from my game. And I tried to put in a zone. I tried to put in a stabilizer. I've tried, uh, I've tried a Toro. I've tried a Tactic. I've tried a Heart. I've tried a Yarn. Just none of those really fit. And the, the Rhino was something that I really have been missing and I am in love with the Rhino mold again and let's keep finding these these four flat ones because this is amazing and yes it is going it straight into my bag hole number nine 203 feet let's end it with a forehand and let's hope we can find this wind because it's blowing down the hill and we need to hyzer up the hill Well, it looks like I'm going to be doing an approach shot. and actually see the band of the basket up there. We're going to try to go forehand flex here. Not much of a flex, but more of a flex of height. Yeah, just like that. I've, I've been missing a, a rhino so much. So we're gonna finish a one down. It's fine. Like I said, it's not a putting putter. It is a throwing and approach putter. And for that reason, it's going straight in my bag.
it is amazing and beautiful and this new plastic it's so cool well hopefully i can start to score better in some tournaments now because with this disc it just comes naturally to me everything else i never really quite learned and so i was trying to figure it out as i was throwing it this disc i just know if i throw it it's gonna do this and it's hard to beat that if you enjoy content like this please make sure to like the video if you want to see other stuff make sure to comment that down below and please make sure to subscribe helps you guys out with the subscriber only giveaways and definitely helps me out as well and until next time see you out on the course